Hey folks, everything new and done here. Um, I, I found this, I was reading some articles here, and I found this uh, website, this particular new product that's coming out, and I thought, man, that is amazing. I have to do a video with that. I have to get one of those. Um, this is called Water Lily, and I think every homestead needs one of these, or, or something of the like. Um, this is a, a mini turbine, or a micro turbine, for water or wind. Water Lily micro turbine. And it's just new. It's uh, launching in August, apparently. Um, you can pre-order it today. It's 139. Let me click the button so we can uh, see 139 Canadian right now, up until April 30th. See the uh, April 30th timeline there. Um, it pays zero up front, free shipping. Uh, this, these are apparently made in Newfoundland, and it's going up to 199. Um, so this is a lim limited time uh, thing. So what is it? So it is a micro turbine that you can put in water or you can hold in the air. So, so this one's uh, showing it in the water. Um, there's the underwater shot. This is what it looks like if you just hold it in the air. Basically, it generates power. Um, the, the turbine spins just like a, uh, uh, you know, an air turbine, a windmill. And uh, let me play this and uh, see if this is going to work here. Just 15 seconds. So there it is. Um, so what are the features here? This is uh, waterproof, obviously, river or wind powered. You could tow, be, tow behind your boat. Um, basically, you can charge your cell phone, uh, anything really. Uh, it's got USB output. Uh, I believe it charges up to 5 amps. Charge your device day or night, and that's because, you know, if you put it in stream, the stream's going to keep going all night long. Manual charge. Use your own muscle power to generate uh, power with a hand crank accessory for it. So that's kind of, uh, this is a great prepper sort of uh, thing. You get the hand crank accessory, uh, and then you can uh, produce power up to 5 amps, I believe it is, max uh, output. Uh, or uh, you put it in a river. Now, the, I don't like uh, wind generators too much, uh, but certainly if, um, turbines, micro turbines, water uh, generated power, I think that is, that is well, that is definitely where it's at. That's, you know, that's, that's what hydro means. Hydroelectricity means water electricity, water that comes from dams. So this is compact and durable. You saw how small it was, 800 grams. Um, great little, great little thing. I think this is going to be the start of a whole new uh, industry with these micro turbines. So why don't I have a micro turbine already? Well, they're expensive. You got to get these, you know, these Pelton turbines or whatever. Um, the the equipment to get one up and running and get your inverter and get the voltage uh, uh, train you know transistors whatever uh, that convert the the power um, it all takes some expertise and takes a fair bit of money um, now they've created a device that you can buy and right now for 139 I mean um, that is uh, cheaper than a lot of solar panels even you'd buy these days uh, you know even a little 20 or 30 watt solar panel um, you pay, uh, you know, up to two hundred or even three hundred dollars for that um, at, at your Canadian Tire. So, what can you charge in this? Well, in water, um, you can charge your smartphone in eight hours uh, at the slowest uh, speed, zero point seven meters per second water, about eight hours, or a GoPro uh, in about four point five. Maximum um, one meter per second. You can charge your phone in two point five hours. Uh, in wind, so it it takes a little bit longer. When you need 25 mile per, uh, kilometer per hour winds to um, to do the eight hours, and then 36. And you know where I am, it's gusty, and you may get some of these, but you don't get that all the time. Really, your best uh, your best power out uh, output uh, and gain is in water. If you have a river or a stream that's just going day and night, that is the best because even though uh, you may produce a little bit less power per hour. If that thing is going 24 hours a day, well, that 24 hours a day adds up, whereas the wind, uh, you know, goes for a little while and then maybe it, it dies down at overnight or whatever because the sun's not up. So really, water powered is the best to go. Here are the specifications. Uh, water powered, uh, minimum depth 7 inches, maximum depth 10,000 meters. Peak flow, peak power output, 25 watts. So for $139, 
um, a 25 watt solar panel um, that is actually a very very good deal um, for that amount of wattage uh, go to your go to your local Canadian Tire and see what you can get for a hundred bucks in terms of solar panel there and uh, and that only works during the day when the sun's up uh, you get one of these things it's producing 25 watts literally 25 uh, or 24 hours a day and that adds up over time and uh, charges your you know your batteries through the night um, and that's you know that's perfect uh, here's the electrical stuff 5 volt regulated USB output 2 ports 12 volt version available that's interesting um, I would probably like the 12 volt version but uh, hey the, the USB charge is uh, works too maximum power output 5 amps 25 watts so that's pretty good uh, you know for such a small unit and it's got a 12 foot uh, length and there's a, the size of you know pause the video look at, at that so these people are out of uh, St. John's Newfoundland it's a Canadian startup company um, they say we have miniaturized this technology so that hikers campers paddlers cyclists can utilize the, our patent pending low speed uh, turbine while enjoying the outdoor so if you go camping and you have a stream nearby, you could put this thing in the stream and charge all your electronics overnight. Isn't that, I, I, uh, I think that's pretty cool. Pretty, pretty real cool. So a, a little bit of Q&A. What types of uh, devices can I charge? Well, USB. Can I get other voltage outputs and different connectors? Yes, 12 volt is available. Contact us for details. So that's interesting. I'm going to be looking into that one. What if there's no river? <clears throat> We'll be adding a hand crank accessory in our store soon for emergency use. However, we wouldn't recommend charging the device fully this way. That would you know, take a long time. Um, so they're looking, they're looking towards a bike now for this thing, which I think is interesting. You can tow it behind a kayak or canoe, but I mean, that'd be a lot of drag. So I don't, I don't know that I recommend that. I mean, it is pretty small, so maybe it's a lot of drag, but not a lot of drag. But that seems uh, counterproductive, unless you're just looking for good exercise. How does it compare to a solar panel? Well, the water lily is able to charge your devices on cloudy days and overnight. That's, that is the key. It is capable of charging for 24 hours a day. The power output is comparable to the portable uh, solar panels on the market. This is the, the big difference. This is, this is why uh, water is way more convenient, um, dependable uh, than any other uh, natural source. It's going 24 hours a day sun is only up for you know at max 10 12 hours a day wind it fluctuates sometimes you get windy days sometimes you get days where the wind is completely still and you're not generating any power water's going all the time so you're always producing electricity how does it compare to the the biolite stove so this is apparently the same country that company that creates the biolite the biolite stove produces up to a peak of three watts of power under ideal conditions this would be equivalent to a water limit in a river running at a speed of 3.4 uh, kilometers per hour or in a wind of 34 kilometers per hour. Um, so the BioLite produces up to 3 watts of power, but the, this unit does 25 watts max production. This is interesting because I do live on the coast. Uh, it is corrosion resistant. It's plastic, basically. So you can uh, definitely put it in the ocean. So I think that's very, very cool. Uh, we, we live on a, a river that is tidal. Um, so I w I'm interested to see how it reacts um, there, um, but regardless uh, whether the water's coming in or out, it's going to be producing power. So that's pretty cool. And um, if you order one of these things uh, or, or pre-order, they don't charge your credit card now. They'll charge it when uh, when you when they ship it in August, and they'll apparently will uh, be giving uh, uh, updates as well about uh, its progress so now normally I wouldn't um, push a you know uh, what's a GoFundMe or uh, what's those uh, other websites that I can't think of right now you know the ones I'm talking about uh, quick start ones where you you put your business up there and you, you know I, I'm, I'm thinking in my head about all the ones about the uh, you know the drones out there and a lot of them fail Kickstarter yeah Kickstarter is one of them um, a lot of them fail uh, you know they they run out of money or, or you know they they get a million dollars raised but then they don't actually come through with anything um so like i said i don't normally push those things because i don't have a lot of faith in them because i've seen a lot of them fail but this thing i thought was incredible and this is fairly simple even if you know you should be able to make it yourself really but to miniaturize it and to make it in a, a portable pack that's ready to go 
with um, USB output, uh, you just you know buy it, take it out of the box, put it in your river, and you are charging. I think this would be perfect for my off-grid chicken shed to charge the uh, batteries 24 hours a day and keep them topped up. And so the problem with the solar panels is obviously when it's cloudy, you're not generating power. So you can go, we can go days, even a week here where it's cloudy, and you're really not making a lot of solar energy. So um, hydro is definitely the way to go if you've got a source. That's the key. You need a source that um, that is there and a source that doesn't freeze in the winter. Um, you know, I would probably pull this thing out during the winter because our river does freeze over. Um, not, all, not all the way to the bottom, um, but it does freeze when it gets uh, very cold. But I'd probably take it out anyways and just stick with the solar energy in the winter. But this is an excellent uh, prepper have thing to have. Uh, when all else fails, you can pull this thing out and charge your electronic devices. Um, and it doesn't matter whether it's a sunny day or whether it's windy. Uh, if you need power, you put this thing in the river and uh, you are good to go you know, in a stream, wherever. Uh, if you've got a little bit of water flow, you're good to go. So I don't know. I thought I would put that in this plug. And um, I'm going to try and get one of these things uh, for the summer. And so I hope I'll, I'll be able to bring a, a review to you. Um, in, yeah, in a couple months here. So, Water Lily, go check it out. Uh, waterlilyturbine.com. Water Lily, it's just as it's spelled there. Water Lily Turbine, T U R B I N E.com. Canadian company in Newfoundland. So, I'm also interested in, in uh, supporting them. Um, I have no connections or ties to them. I just think this is a brilliant idea. We, I've been waiting for something like this to come out, something less complicated to uh, get my own turbine going. And uh, yeah, so thanks for watching, guys. Uh, I'm excited about this. I think this will be really neat. And uh, let me know what you guys think of it. Have you seen any other products like this? Um, anyways, we'll leave it there, guys. And uh, look for an upcoming video on this in a couple months. We'll uh, talk to you guys later.